I guess we're going to have a more of a definition oriented, but uh, rather important um, web development talk today about what is a RESTful API. Now, you've probably heard about APIs before. That would be things like the Open Weather API, where they have an interface where you can get data about the weather. Um, and the uh, API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's basically a way for us to interact with databases uh, that has data and do stuff in our code. Um, a good example would be, let me pull up my website real quick, would be the YouTube API, which I've used uh, for my website, codingtutorials360.com. And on here, what I have done is, let me go to the homepage, you'll see that uh, I have my most current video that's up right here with a little description and the title. Um, this is coming from the YouTube API. I also down below here have my channel stats, which is my current subscribers, lifetime views, and total public videos. So you can get all this information. And what's cool about it is because it's an API, you don't it's not hard coded. So you don't have to go back and change it. And I'm not manually every time I go in and change it 418 to 419 when this video comes up. And you can get real data um, going over real things. And you can do a lot a lot more than just get data with APIs. We can also uh, delete, update, and and uh, create. And that really is what an API is. So, or what a RESTful API is. A RESTful API has four functions. Um, it has the ability to create data in a database. So if the data never existed, and let's say I wanted to add a Let's take the open weather API, for instance. Let's say I wanted to add the weather to my city and that city never existed. Through the API, with the URL, I could uh, pass in certain parameters and I'd be able to send data to the database and create a new row in the, in the, um, in the table or a new document in the collection, depending on what type of database you're talking about. But that would be one functionality. It basically has four. So the ability to create data, uh, which is a post. Uh, so there's post, there's post, which is create data. There's put, which is to update existing data. So say that that city already existed, but I actually misspelled it, and I want to update the name of the city. That would be a uh, put. And then there's the ability to get data, which is what I just showed you on my web page, which is um, you know with the with getting the the video count, the subscribers, the current video. That's all get. Uh, get statement so to go and pull data out of the database and there's delete which is the ability to delete stuff permanently from that database and that's what makes up a restful api the ability to create new data the ability to uh which is the post the ability to uh update data which is the put and then you have the ability to to retrieve data which is the get and then you have the ability to delete data which is the delete i guess at the end of the day post how Am I forgetting the name of the actual delete? Post I don't know. You get the point, though. Uh, but that's really an, a RESTful API is those four functions. And at the end of the day, it's pretty pretty simple and pretty intuitive. So if you ever hear this term thrown around, just, just understand that there's basically four functions. And APIs in general, by the way, are a massive, massive thing in web development. You're retrieving data from everything. And even if you're more into um, web design than actual web development, it's really good because say you want, your client wants you to just have their social media feed on there. You're gonna have to use you know, Instagram's API or Facebook's API to have their latest picture on there or whatever it is or have a thing of scrolling comments. Um, you saw mine, I just wanted my YouTube stats. You know, YouTube's a big part of my life. That's what I wanted. And in terms of being a, a you know, building web applications, you can, you'll do, you'll be making your own APIs. Uh, forget using somebody else's, but you'll be creating your own RESTful APIs that have those four functions. And you'll be creating, cooking it up to the back end and make sure it works or fixing it when it doesn't. Like, so uh, that's what a RESTful API is. is a, it's a, you know, a term that's thrown around quite a lot. And if you're new, you're not familiar with it, um, you know, you can, and you're, you're trying to get better with it. You can watch some of the uh, free CodeCamp projects I've done with the, the Twitch API or the um, Open Weather API, which are, are used in jQuery. And I actually have an Angular version of doing it as well. 
but that's a restful API. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And as always, if you have any other questions, things you want me to talk about, just leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Kotech and Caffeine. The link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codenotorials360. Stay motivated, guys. Keep working hard. And send me your questions. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.